right, guys, we are out back getting ready to run the uh, pine cone models uh, Unimog truck. And uh, I don't know if you can tell behind me, but uh, the last week we've had uh, unseasonably warm temperatures and quite a bit of rain. And now uh, here on Sunday, it's about noon. They're calling for that rain to change over to snow, and the snow is just starting. Uh, some outlets are calling for one to three today, others three to five, so I guess we'll find out by the end of the day which one was right, but I'm gonna get this truck set up and give it a run. With the battery pack charged up, we head out back between the two barns to give this truck its run. I picked this particular location because of the terrain that was out here. There's some water, there's mud, there's flat, smooth concrete, and there are some stones, and I wanted to put this truck through its paces on what I deemed acceptable terrain to run it on, and for the most part, it did pretty well. While this truck does feature proportional throttle control, to me it doesn't have a lot of low end when you're just starting to squeeze that trigger and you're trying to get a, a slow crawl started. This truck doesn't have much of that. It just kind of likes to get up to speed and it likes to do it fast. So with that being said, over some of the bumpier terrain uh, out here with the, with the rocks and the mud and everything, you almost kind of had to hit it at speed. And doing that with the hard tires, with the limited suspension travel and the friction shocks, it is going to be a bouncy ride. With that being said, I mean for the price point of $40 thus far, I think the truck did okay. On a side note, in this run, this truck saw a lot more water than my Element Enduro Ecto did a couple years back when I fried the ESC on it. So this truck to me definitely gets bonus points for taking on the water that it did. To me, the Unimog looks good out here doing its thing without trying to be too serious about it. And again, coming from a $40 price point, I really can't argue with the performance too much. Like I said, it's a nice looking truck. It would even look nice just sitting on your shelf, and I'm sure some people out there would probably have the wherewithal and the means to try and hobby grade this truck up just a little bit. With that being said, here in these following clips that we're looking at was a one problem area that I did notice with this truck. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video, but in these instances on this little rocky hill where the truck you see spinning its tires, the rear tires aren't actually spinning. If you can get a good enough look, you see that the wheels inside of the tires are actually spinning. So I might have to pull those off and put a bead of glue around them and then come back out here just to see if the truck would have an easier time making it up with those tires glued to the rims. I think the possible downside of that would be once they're glued up and trying to climb up there that the motor just wouldn't have enough torque to get the wheels moving anyways but you guys let me know in the comments what you think if you'd want to see more of this truck do you want to see me glue the tires and come back here to see what the truck can do all in all to me i had a lot of fun out here running this truck and for the money i didn't expect it to be a crawler and i think that also led me to have even more fun with it because my expectations weren't extremely high overall the truck looks good, it performs well enough, and I think for the price point of $40, it's well worth it. Not everybody out there wants to spend $200 plus to see if this is a hobby that they're going to enjoy. I'd like to thank Banggood for reaching out to me and sending me product of theirs to review. And guys, as always, thanks for taking some time out of your day to check out my videos. Everyone stay safe. We'll see you on the next one.